Good morning everyone, Liliana from Vanilla and Canela here. Welcome back to my channel, to another video and to Vlogtober. So today's video is the much awaited Aldi shopping haul. I mentioned in my video that you saw yesterday that I had a I had gone to Aldi. Here's the haul. As usual, let me start with the frozen stuff. I have a seafood selection bag. This was two ninety nine in Tesco's. This is like four pounds. I also saw these and bought bought them because I thought they looked nice. Potato lattices. We're going to have that with hot dogs tonight. Never seen this before. We have these in Portugal. Ham and cheese crowns. You can get them at places like um, Greg's or somewhere like that. But I've never seen them in a supermarket. Got some of those. And some prawns for Alex. Let me put this in the freezer and we'll move on to the fridge. So now stuff that goes in the fridge. I got some double Gloucester here, uh, cheese. That I think that was £1.70 or something like that. I thought these looked really, really good. Fish goujons there. Can't remember how much. Chicken thigh fillets. I have a um, recipe that I want to use that for. Some pork pies as these will be good as a lunch. Some gnocchi. This is for the fridge as well. Some cheese. I've got Mazdam. Not sure if that's how you say it. And also Edam. Tortellini. This is a Italian bolognese tortellini. Never tried that before. Some grated cheddar here. Big bag. Gammon joint. Some sour cream. Some smoked salmon. And then cold meats, I have prosciutto, serrano ham. So if you don't know, prosciutto is Italian, serrano ham is Spanish. And in Portuguese, we have presunto, which is very, very similar. They're all very similar. Got this sausage selection there. That's German, Italian-inspired Calabria ham and baked ham. Okay. Then moving on, I've got some Baby Bell, some chicken and bacon pate, two ribeye rib steaks, a selection of mushrooms there, baby corn. I've never tried this before. I'm not a massive fan of peppers to just eat them. I love the flavour they give to food, but I never actually eat them. But I've seen so many people saying that these are really nice, so I thought I'd give them a try. Some courgettes. Some leeks, eggs, eggs there. Saw this Madagascan vanilla vanilla yogurt. I thought I must give that a try. It looks really nice. It was pricey. I think it was one seventy nine, but I'm a sucker for stuff like that. Some bananas, and now be prepared for the biggest selection of breads related stuff. So here we go. Just a Hovis sliced bread. We have some crumpets, some coriander, uh, garlic and coriander naan breads, hot dog rolls, brioche ones. This we're going to have for dinner tonight. I also have never seen these croissant rolls, so I thought I have to try that. In before the doorbell rang, I've never tried those, so I'm going to. Um, what else? We have some sourdough baguettes. Never tried this before. Piadina flatbreads. They look very much like um, tortillas, but they're Italian. Croissants, you guys. Loaf of brioche. The bloomer. Now, you guys are like, how are you going to eat all of this? Bear in mind that a lot of this stuff has long life. Look at that. That's until Christmas. That's until the 20th of this month. All the pre-baked stuff lasts a long time. So that's until next month, next month. These look till the 17th. This is next month. And obviously the things that we'll eat straight away is this bread. I'm gonna freeze this one. So I got it because I was there. So yeah, that's in my defense. That and I love any bread stuff. Now. For Paul, I got some of these. He loves crisps, flavoured crisps. So I saw these cheese 
potato snacks and bugles. I have got him that before and he loves those. Saw these and thought Alex might like them. They're called veggie straws, kale, tomato and spinach. If he doesn't, I'm sure Paul will eat them. All the cupboard stuff. Picked up some sour cream topping, creamy Caesar, salad dressing, sorry, barbecue sauce. We've got some treats here, peanut, milk chocolate covered, peanut, sorry, and then some gummies, uh, Wendy the Worm and Li Leo the Lion, and then some of these gourmet gummy candies. I got Paul these baked beans, only one for him to try because I don't know if he'll like this brand, is the Aldi brand. I saw these and thought these would be really nice, especially on a miserable day like this. It's raining, you can't tell, but it is. Uh, some hot chocolate pods for a machine, the Mars brand. Uh, I got some ready to wok medium noodles It's for a recipe. Two things of sugar, normal sugar and one of icing sugar. And I picked up these, uh, they're like stock pots. I love these, um, but usually the named brand are quite expensive. So these were 69p each and they do vegetable as well. So I'll keep that in mind. I got some ground pepper, some of these vermicelli, chewing gum, anchovies. Paul likes anchovies on his pizza some baking powder curry powder got this milk chocolate peanut crisp mighty bites for me and paul some sweet chili sauce some crunchy peanut butter two things of frosted flakes and mince pies a bit early but why not two soya milks some breakfast sausages so this is what we're going to have hot dogs wise and I also got some of these groovy biscuits. Alex likes these. And a, a bottle of pop. And on this side, I got one ibuprofen, one paracetamol here. Uh, some hand wash. I got some of this washing up liquid. It's supposed to be gentle on your hands. I've been complaining, if you've heard me enough times, about how um, I get dermatitis. I've got it at the moment. The only one that doesn't give me dermatitis is Method. I couldn't get Method, so I got eCover, but that's not working out. So I thought I'd give this one a try. And then I got some of these vitamin gummies for me, for Paul. So two grown-ups and one for Alex. And then um, also got two packs of nappies. Now, these are the same size, size three, but they're different. Like one is premium and one is normal. And I want to see, I want to try them out and see what the difference is. If there is no difference, these are not only cheaper, but there's more in the packet. So I'll stick with those. Um, yeah. And then I got some of these amazing 65p for... 100% biodegradable baby wipes, plastic free, recyclable packaging, suitable for sensitive skin, including newborns. Look at that, 99.4% water. So I got five packs of those and if I do like them, I'll um, start using them going forward. And then I also picked up this Healthy Glow Rose Toner. So my skin has been really dry and a bit angry, so it doesn't want to focus, but there you go. With hyaluronic acid, which is supposed to be really good. Ah, oh, my doorbell. I also got this. Thought this might be quite good. It was 99p. And finally, that. Uh, this is what I actually wanted for Oscar, a wooden baby gym to go on a mat. Uh, but they can be really expensive and you can you used to be able to get something very similar from Ikea for like 25 pounds um, But they I couldn't find them. So he has a mat So he needed something like that to go on top. He didn't need it, but you know, this was 16.99, which is amazing 
I was really, really impressed with the stuff I got in Aldi. I've got now a little bit of footage showing you me putting all the stuff away. And at the end of that, I'll answer a couple of questions. Having the first mince pie of the year. the next day and here is what the fridge is looking like fully rammed with food and um, all the cheese and meat meats in here veg and then I put some spinach and salad in jars the meats at the bottom pastas and open cheeses and other snacks and then at the top smoothies and yogurts and dairy products on that side and here's the fridge so that is it for this video I'm now going to answer a couple of questions that you've asked me if you don't know what I'm talking about I mentioned a couple of videos ago I think that instead of uh, replying to all your comments which I really haven't got time for because there's so many videos I would pick up a couple of um, questions that you ask me and answer them here. I do read all your comments. You'll see that I put a little heart, the little heart tick thing. Anyway, so question number one is, what did you do before you were a stay-at-home mummy and wife? 
I used to work in finance, so I used to be a credit controller. That's what I did for most of my grown up life. Question number two, do you still love bubbles? Now, if you don't know what that question is about, is during my pregnancies with both of my boys, I developed, um, I wouldn't call it a craving, but I loved making bubbles. I would clean just so I could make loads of bubbles with the, you know, the washing up liquid. Um, definitely not. I still enjoy a good bubbles, but not to the point where I was cleaning to make bubbles, if that makes sense. So yeah. Those are the two questions for today. I hope you have enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys tomorrow.